Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah. And it says, Leave here, turn eastward and hide in the Kareth ravine, east of the Jordan, and you will drink from the brook. And I have directed the ravens to supply you with food there. Interesting. This is such an interesting passage. So he says, hide. And he says, I will provide for you while you are hiding. I'm going to use the natural provisions from the brook, the water, but I'm also going to provide for you supernaturally. And he says, I'm going to call on the Raven food truck services. And they will provide, supply food for you every morning and every evening. They are going to bring you a bread and meat sandwich every single day. Now that's not normal. No, it's not. A brook of water? Yeah, makes sense. Go to a brook of water. It's normal. But having birds fly in twice a day to bring you a sandwich? That's not normal. That is supernatural. Every day while there's a drought out there, you have a meal presented to you by waiters in black wings. But what makes this even more amazing, and this is the part I really got in Deuteronomy 14, very interesting chapter in the Bible. It talks about what's unclean and clean. Now we are still in the Old Testament. Blood of Jesus has not paid to wash everything clean yet. There's, uh, cleansing hasn't happened. So God tells His people specifically, do not mess with the ravens. You may not eat them or mess with them because they are unclean. Do not mess with raisins. Uh, no, raisins. Don't eat them. Not good for you. What does this tell you about God's provision? Just think about it for the moment. So God says, do not mess with the ravens. They're unclean birds. Have nothing to do with them. Do not eat them. Do not mess with them. Proverbs 13, 22 says the following. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. But the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous. That's us. Here's another one. Job 27. Though the wicked heap up silver like dust and clothes like piles of clay. What he lays up, the righteous will wear. That's us. And the innocent will, will divide his silver. So, so the riches of the world is being gathered so that the kingdom of God's people can use it to advance God's kingdom. God can use hell to advance heaven. I love that. If God has made a way for us to be blessed without compromising or sinning, God will never ask you to compromise or sin. We will take whatever benefits He's made available to us and we will use it to advance His kingdom. So never box God in because God, He does not sin and God never tells you to sin, but He often uses sinful people to bring about provision His people need. 